Well, we managed to find Tingana, but he's unfortunately in the thickest bush possible. So all we've got at the moment is two little ears sticking out of the grass, but at least we'll take it. We have signal and he is potentially going to start getting up and moving. It's that time of the day where a leopard should start thinking about doing a territorial patrol and so I'm hoping that he's going to start waking up and we're going to see some yawns and then up and out of the grass he's going to come. But isn't that camouflage absolutely spectacular? He's really very very well hidden in this long long grass that we have here it's not ideal to see him at all but like I say if he stands up it will be fine there we go he's a bit of yawning so hopefully he's going to stand up now what we don't want is for him to walk in the direction he's facing because the reason is is that that is deeper into vessels where we can't follow him so what we need him to do is to turn around and come back towards where we are onto Chitwa and we will be able to then stick with him now you may have heard in the background a little chirping sound, and those are little dwarf mongoose that are running around close by and they're alarm calling at Tingana. And I wonder if their home or one of the entrances to their holes is not close by here and that's why they're making such a noise because they're upset that they can't get there because Tingana is in the way. And it's getting to that time of the day where you would normally expect little dwarf mongoose to be in their holes already they shouldn't really be out because it's going to be quite dangerous for them to be out at this time of the day and so I'm sure that's why they're making so much of a noise and they're hoping that maybe the noise will make this leopard stand up and move away and they can then get in so that's probably why they're giving such a fuss but you can see he's breathing quite heavily now it hasn't been that hot that he should be panting heavily from heat I would imagine maybe he's more that he's quite full at the moment so I'm hoping that if he stands up that we'll see a quite a big belly because it's really not that hot he shouldn't be panting that heavily from heat other than if he's really full and his body's through digesting all this protein has built up excess heat as well as the fact that his lungs are being pushed up by this large stomach that will make his breath shorter but it's the only reason I can think of because it really isn't hot enough for a leopard to be panting from heat alone Now, I'm saying it's Tingana because that's what everybody else is telling me, but from where I'm sitting here, it is very difficult to actually see who it is. I know when he turned around, it did look like him, and he's got those sort of tatty ears, so I'm almost 100% sure it is him. But you can never rule it out until they kind of expose themselves a little bit better. Now, remember, if you do have any questions about Leopard, or you're not sure who Tingana is, you can send your questions through to hashtag safari live and we'll try and answer as many of them as we can and that's on twitter just for those that don't know now if you are new to the show and you're not sure who tingana is well tingana is the duke of juma so he is the dominant male that we see probably the most he spends a lot of time on juma chitwa in coral all the way to so nisha in chicago you were wondering who he is so he is basically the dominant male that we see around Juma and Arethusa into Little Gari, Chitwa, Hoffmans. He goes up into Buffalshook, Torchwood, in Coral, Cheetah Plains. So he has a massive, massive territory, this guy. He's got most of the eastern side, but he's going to have a tough time because there's a number of younger males that are pushing slowly but surely into his area. So from the north, he's got a male called Gajima that is coming in. Then from the west is Anderson and from the east Shivambalan and Quarantine so which funny enough Quarantine we think is one of his sons so he's got a bit of pressure all around him but because he's got such a large territory it means that a lot of these males often get into areas where they're quite close to where he would or quite close to his territory but because he spends so much time if he's on a kill right down in the south maybe Gajima in the north moves in slightly because he hasn't heard this male vocalizing or scent marking in those areas for a few days and that's why, unfortunately, Tingana spends a lot of his time walking. Often you'll find that you'll find him in an area right down in the south where we are now. And by tomorrow morning, he will have already covered most of the west and into the north. But from here, generally, his patrol will take him past Chitwa. And from Chitwa, he then cuts into Little Gari. From Little Gari, he then comes into Juma via Weaver's Nest or Twin Dam. So 
for those of you that like watching the dam cam, I would expect early hours of tomorrow morning that he might make an appearance there. It would be a good place to check. So for those of you who are up at that time, then that would be where I would check in the early hours of tomorrow morning, South African time. But you can see he's just shifting and moving a little bit. He's um, listening to all of these dwarf mongoose and also there's one or two vehicles moving around. Now those vehicles that you hear moving around are vehicles from guests that are visiting the varying... Now did you hear that? So we were just talking about him patrolling territory and that sound is there just for him to be able to vocalize to any other male leopard this is my territory stay away so that is a sign that he is going to start waking up soon he's now if he's calling I don't think he's going to be sitting for too much longer I think he's going to probably start getting up and starting to mark his territory so not only is he going to use an audio cue but you're going to find he's going to use a chemical scent as well by urinating and marking his territory along roads and areas where other male leopards will be walking now we're going to sit with this male for a little bit longer and we're going to see if potentially he's going to get up and start moving and while we do that let's go across to James who I'm sure is on the hunt for that male lion again.